Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for Will There Be Contact? I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you guys would like a live personal reading with me, or you'd like to get an astrology reading, or you would like to sign up for my free newsletter, all my information is in the description box below. You can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com. I also have a course you guys can sign up for. All the information is in the description box below. All right, so let's jump right in here so first we're going to talk about what's currently going on with your person then we're going to talk about why they're not contacting you what do they want to say to you will there be contact and then some advice and if you guys like it this way you want me to continue this way hit that like button let me know in the comments below you know i love hearing from you guys that was good. all right so let's find out what's going on with you Cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two, three. Okay, so this person, your person, is trying to make some type of decision. Okay, in the current when it comes to you. I feel like they are looking to somebody for some advice. They feel like there could be some issues here. So because somebody that they're dealing with has some kind of ulterior motives. Okay, we'll just say. Okay, so they're basing their decision on this. Um, so it seems like there are, there's a person around your person, okay, that's, that they're not aware of that actually has ulterior motives and helping them with making this decision. Okay, so yeah so let's just keep going here your person in the current when it comes to you has a sense that you are a true blessing to them and that they want to make this decision and they want to do something at the right time your person is feeling bad about this situation again i feel like there is the sense of like not sure what they want to do kind of energy like they're not sure and they don't know how to face this because they feel guilty they feel bad they feel upset okay there's a lot of emotions here they've kind of gotten just stuck on these regrets from the past okay i want to clarify further let's just go down the line here as well I also get the sense with this person that for you, you guys, this person is a little bit of a situationship, okay? And uh, I feel like they felt like they went too far. They went too far and they feel bad about that because that wasn't their intentions to hurt you. Okay, so they're trying to make some kind of decision. Now, the letter card could be, you know, it could be some kind of message, letter, document, paperwork. Your person does feel that they have used you in some sense. They are trapped in their thoughts about it. They feel that their hands are tied like they're going around in circles in their mind here with the Eight of Swords kind of energy. Show me cards that you see. Show me cards that you see. Okay. There's something about this situation that could involve money, finance, abundance. They do in the current feel like you fulfill their desires. Also the abundance card can be seeing that yes, they hit the jackpot. So, so far what I'm feeling about your person Taurus is their intentions and the connection when they first got with you was passionate in nature and they felt it went too far with it. And then they realized from the connection with you 
that there was something that they realized about the connection that they were like, whoa, this is a little bit more than I bargained for. And I, I thought I was going to go, you know, just be in the moment, be passionate with this person. And it ended up being something that I really wanted. And it was, it's a situation ship. And so now there's a sense of guilt around it. And like they've made some type of mistake. Like they went in and they didn't expect to catch feelings. And now they're trapped in their thoughts about it and they don't know how to face you. Um, Cause there's now strong desires for you. And I see this person is like seeing this situation as good news with the Page of Pentacles energy and the lots of potential. And they want to show up here to kiss and make up. Some of you guys may work with this person, okay? This could have been a work-related situation or boss for some of you guys. And it's like now this person's really in their head. They're doing a lot of soul searching about how to deal with it. Yeah, we see there is this landowner, this boss, this real estate, you know, this sense of wanting control around this situation. They do have a sense in the, in, the, in the current that they're not sure what to do. You see how there's so many keys. They're like, I don't know what to do. Um, and they are seeing that this could be a long-term happy connection with the Ten of Cups energy. That something could be accomplished, completed here. That something could be, you know, really, really happy for them with the Ten of Cups energy. So you can see there's someone giving them advice around them, right? That could be a counselor too, okay? But they're, they're getting some kind of advice from somebody. And, but I do feel like the, the, whoever the person is is giving advice has some type of ulterior motives. They have something to gain out of it. Because I see the lost card is the next card here with the, you know, the theft card. And it's like, oh my God, you know? It's like this person's telling this person everything. And then in the meantime, it's like something's being taken from the situation, okay? So it's like there's some alternative motives of why they're pushing this person in one direction or another direction, okay? Your person, I mean. Um, so let's keep going. So your person's having the sense, okay, how do I accomplish this? How can I bring things into balance? How can I come bring things full circle with the world card energy? This has to do with celebration, going out, lots of people, okay, the public, you know, there's something about this that's, that has to come out into the open, this connection. It concerns them, okay? Because of something to do with a house and a family and a home situation, right? There's a, an established situation here. So let's keep going here. Let's see what else I'm picking up on as well. Wow, I heard that they feel that people around them will, will say that they were a liar for what they did. Oh my goodness, like they've been living like, um, like another life, like a double life. Okay, this is some deep stuff here. Okay, um, cause there is a, this really, really strong impulsiveness within them right now to want to come forward and do something passionate with you with the Knight of Wands energy, okay? Yeah, and there is a sadness within them. There's, there's a, the sense of creating a lot of sadness around the situation. Yeah, we see this healing energy. Okay, let's keep going. They really do want to hold on to you though with the Four of Pentacles energy. And reunite in the current tier. Because they, they, they've grown to love you. They've grown, they have feelings. They don't know how to come across with this conversation. They don't know how to fix this situation. It's like there's some kind of barrier here between you guys. Um, there's a lot of heat also between you guys. But the, this, this connection could cause a lot of heartache and, and sadness here. In, uh, because of the way this, this uh, situation ship has come about. Hmm. Okay. Uh... You guys can comment in the, the comments below. If this resonates with you, let me know. 
Um, so abundance of kissing and making up, we see the household and family situation, wishes being fulfilled and confusions about healing the situation, strong desires and concerns about loss and love. Uh, yeah, I heard this, the, the, the people around them, will they're like concerned, the people around them are gonna be like, how could you do this? Okay, wow. Uh, letter message documents, we see visiting, going out. We see there's a sense of using and wanting to get control of the sadness, feeling trapped in their thoughts, getting advice about how to reunite. Okay, moving this out of the way. All right, so there's a choice being made. They want to bring some kind of and this could be involving in Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, okay? Because obviously there's somebody around this situation here that's giving advice. Uh, could be a younger Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Mm, yeah, could be. Doesn't have to be, but there is definitely somebody around this person. It's like, here, let me tell you about this, and they got these alternative motives, and there's a sense of something about money, children, long-term kind of energy and how to accomplish something here when the timing is right, doing a lot of soul searching, wanting to be impulsive in their actions because they want to do something passionate with you. But they have a lot of regrets about this and they want this long-term emotional happiness here and they want to hold on to the situation. Okay, so let's just find out why they're not contacting you. Okay, let's, let's drill down to that. Okay. Let's use my new deck. I'm working on a new deck, guys. And let's see how it works with that. Okay, so obviously this is, this is going to be rough, <laughs> a rough version of my new deck. So why isn't Taurus's love interest? The one I'm here for, the one they want to know about, why isn't Taurus's love interest? Contacting Taurus. What's the real reason why? What's the real reason why there's no communication at this time? Show me cards you need to see, show me cards you need to see. Okay. Okay, so they're definitely praying about the situation, okay? They're, they're trying to look within themselves more deeply. There's concerns about income here, money, finance. Yep, and they, they're feeling guilty about this situation. So we see because there's something about money and finance involved in the situation and them not knowing how this is gonna play out, they still have to make a decision. They know that it's overdue. They, they're not sure if, if, if they're deserving of this connection because of how they came forward with this connection. Okay, so there's a sense of guilt here around it. They're trying to adapt to this, this situation that they have, right? Because they, 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 they don't know how this is all gonna play out moving forward. So they're delaying it. Okay, that's straightforward, right? Okay. So now you're seeing my deck, the new deck in the making. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's see. Let's see what they want to say to you. What does Taurus's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? What does Taurus's love interest want to say to Taurus? Show me crazy to see the one they're out of communication with, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about. Show me crazy to see. Show me the cards I need to. <sighs> Taurus, they said, is this love? Is this love that they're feeling? And that's what they want to say to you. And I see that they're concerned that they're not really deserving because they feel like they're not deserving of this because they feel like maybe someone's better for you. They don't want this to be again, never again. They want to bring some things to light to you because they want to know if you love them. They feel like they've overstepped their boundaries in this connection. And they want that to end. They, they, they don't feel like you should love them because of the unresolved issues here and how things come about how things came about and they feel like it's it's never over between you guys it's like this 
kind of back and forth energy that this is not going to be over. It's going to, they're going to, they're going to keep going back and forth and back and forth. Mm, they said it's inevitable. It's just a matter of time because they can't help themselves. Please forgive them. That's what they want. That this connection has been the wrong place, wrong time. So they feel like the timing's off. And they've learned a lesson here about it. And that, you see how there's, it's, they don't know if it was worth it because they're feeling really hurt. Okay, so let's, let's find out if this person's gonna contact you. All right. When it comes to Taurus's love interest, the one I went for, the one I went about. Is there a huge potential for Taurus's love connection? The one they're here for, the one they went about, the one they're coming to with, to contact them in the next three months. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Positive card for yes, negative card for no. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yes. They actually, when they do come forward, they're going to be romantic with you. They're going to do something for you, possibly bring you flowers. They're going to do some kind of romantic gesture, okay, with the Knight of Cups energy. They're going to show you by their action, okay, with the Knight of Cups energy. Uh, they're going to do something that is going to show you that they want to invest time in the connection with the Seven of Pentacles energy. And uh, they're going to be hesitant about taking a risk, leap of faith, or they're concerned that they may lose you to a new person. Okay, so that may be why they're going to reach out. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Taurus? When it comes to their love connection for the highest, best good, for the best possible alcohol. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so when it comes to money, family, long term, ooh, something needs to end first for there to be a happy energy. There's actions that need to be taken here so that a risk can be taken towards a relationship. Things will come into balance and you will be able to achieve something here with this connection. So focus on long term commitment here and don't give up. Okay, Taurus. That's pretty straightforward, okay? All right, my beautiful Tauruses. I love you guys so much. If you guys look at this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, my beautiful darlings, I do want to hear you guys in the comments below. So if this resonates, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. If this resonates with you, put never give up in the comments below okay my beautiful darlings i love you guys so much i'll see you guys another day or two have a great rest of your next couple days and i will see you guys soon